Hello everybody, I'm going to be reading a poem called Hellbound Train. A Texas cowboy lay down on a bare room floor, having drunk so much he could drink no more. So he fell asleep with a troubled brain, to dream that he rode on a hellbound train. The engine with murderous blood was damp and was brilliantly lit with a brimstone lamp. An imp for fuel was shoveling bones. While the furnace rang with a thousand groans, the boiler was filled with lager beer, and the devil himself was the engineer. The passengers were a most motley crew, church members, atheists, Gentile, and Jew, rich men in broad clothes, beggars in rags, handsome young ladies and withered old hags, yellow and black men, red, brown, and white, all chained together. Oh God, what a sight. While the train rushed on at an awful pace, the sulfurous fumes scorched their hands and face. Wider and wider the country grew, as faster and faster the engine flew. Louder and louder the thunder crashed, and brighter and brighter the lightning flashed. Hotter and hotter the air became till the clothes were burned from each quivering frame and out of the distance there arose a yell ha ha said the devil we're nearing hell then oh how the passengers all shrieked with pain and he begged the devil to stop the train but he capered about and danced for glee and laughed and joked at their misery my faithful friends you have done the work and the devil never can a payday shirt never bullied the weak you've robbed the poor the starving brother you've turned from the door you've laid up gold where the cankers rust and have given free vent to your beastly lust you've justice scorned and corruption sown and trampled the laws of nature down you have drunk righted cheated plundered and lied and mocked of god in your hell-born pride You have paid full fare, so I'll carry you through, for it's only right you should have your due. While the laborer always expects his hire, so I'll land you safe in the lake of fire, where your flesh will waste in the flames that roar, and my imps torment you forevermore. Then the cowboy awoke with an anguished cry, his clothes wet with sweat and his hair standing high. Then he prayed as he never had prayed to that hour to be saved from his sins and the demon's power. And his prayers and his vows were not in vain for he never rode the hell-bound train.